Okay, if you'd like a question, please raise your hand. We'll come around the room. We'll start at the front there. Gentleman there. Brilliant. Uh, one gain or two drops, because you have some really good moments in that game, especially when you're uh, expensive substitute came on. Yeah, we're, we're happy with the performance of the team. Happy um, with the energy, with the spirit, with the discipline we had. Um, it's never easy coming here because of Liverpool's quality and, and Anfield. Um, so we take the point, we accept the point, and we move forward in a positive way. With hindsight, would Rick could he have started? No, 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 no. No, he's not played since November. Um, hasn't any game time, so it would have been a risk to play him from the start. It was more managing his minutes at the back end of the game. We, we thought it was the right time to bring him in. So, yeah, yeah, that no, was good, really good. I mean, he's only been with us a couple of days, like I said. So he'll get better the more he's with us and the more we understand him and vice versa. But promising signs. Sam Wallace. Well, I know you've seen him for a bit in training with the game. What can you just sort of describe for us what, what you see as a well, he's only been, like I said, two. I think he's had two sessions with us. But um, from watching him at uh, Shakhtar and seeing, seeing his quality there, he's dangerous in 1v1 situations. In the final third, he can make things happen. He's, I think he'll get supporters off, off their seats. Um, <coughs> dribbling action's really, really high. And uh, knows where the goal is. So um, our job now is to help him settle in, set, settle into the, the team, settle into the country, settle into the league and gain an understanding of, of us and how we can help him. Liam Twimmy. Hi, Graham. Hi. Um, give Yeah, very. I mean, they're top players. That's ultimately. <laughs> Sometimes these coaches think that we magically turn these players into top players, but they're, they're top players. Um, Jao and, and Madrid. Um, they understand the game. They understand football, and then uh, then it's just about helping them just fine tune it a little bit. The more we can get them into the better situations, the better for them and better for us. But the signs are positive. Rob Drake. Yeah, but I think that rather than worry about what's going to happen in four or five months' time, we have to just focus on the next day's training, the next match. We've got a, we've been for a period where, I mean, Liverpool have suffered as well. But if you look at how many players we've had missing for a period of time, it's into the double figures. So that doesn't affect any team in the Premier League. And then we have to understand the transition that we've all been through and and uh, all that that brings. But I think the way the team stuck together through a period where there was a lot of obviously criticism and a lot of pressure and noise and the team stayed together, we kept working, kept trying to improve and then you get to sell yourself to a situation where you've got some injured players coming back, so you've made some signings that freshens the group up and then there's more competition in the team so that's what you need at uh, a club like Chelsea. Are you now excited for the next part of the season? <clears throat> I think you've got to be excited all the time even though sometimes you have to suffer and we have had to suffer because again um, I'm having to answer questions about form when there's 10 injured players on the side. It's not like I've like not selected them, you know, they're, they're, they're just not, they're not being available. So, but throughout you have to be excited. It's like, even though Jürgen's been suffering, he's, I'm sure he'll say he's excited to work for Liverpool. It's, it's one of the best opportunities in football. Yep. What, can he, what can he give you in this Well, he's got a football brain that's just uh, uh, above um, everybody, pretty much, because he understands the game, how long he's played at the highest level, and the players he's played with, the players he's played against. His references are just so strong that he that he can help the team. He helps individuals. You know, he's got Ben Wilder. He's only had his second game in the Premier League again, alongside him. I think he, pro you know, I'm, I'm sure he benefits from playing alongside Thiago Silva. Everyone benefits from him. He's uh, a leader on the pitch, leader off the pitch, 
really important player. Okay, two more today. Adam Newson, and then here to finish. Adam. Hi. Yeah, now I can speak about him because he's a Chelsea player. Um, not an exciting player. Uh, uh, brings a left-footed attacking option for us and, and competition in, in that in that area of the pitch. Young player that's had a good start in his career, accumulated games, and uh, you know, a club, a big club in Holland. So he's ready to take the next step. We need to help him again, just make that step and adjust to life with us, adjust to life in the Premier League. But he's an exciting player. I think, again, our supporters will like him. Trevor, I don't know, to be honest with you. I've had to come out and speak to you guys. OK, last question, just here. Right, you mentioned you've obviously got a really good, good squad. Do you envisage making kind of changes from game to game now for certain old season? Or do you think you'll ever be a thing where it'll be an unchanged lineup, Or is that just not going to happen? Um, you never know. Obviously, you always pick up the slight problems in terms of injuries, so you have to adjust to that. But I think stability helps the team. We need to be as stable as we can. Um, at the same time, acknowledging the competition that we have within the group and the squad. So it's a balance of the two. Um, and every game brings a slight different demand and you have to just take into consideration the form or the position of the players. So it's a balancing act. You don't always get it right, of course, but that's the challenge. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.